Yet again, the three of us found ourselves in harnesses for our latest weekend adventure. And in harm's way, too. Th this really put our superhero powers to the test. Yep. And we had to brave water and wind. Kite surfing. Out near the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, you can't miss them. Colorful, cavorting kites ripping riders over the waters of Tampa Bay. The technical name of this awash with adrenaline activity is kite surfing. But for Steve Sipes, it was sort of like answering the siren of the sea. You have to be out on the water. I saw these people riding one day, and they're uh, cruising across the water, holding some kind of parachute-looking thing in the air. All of a sudden, they're jumping, they're in the air, and then they're landing. And immediately, I knew this is what I've been looking for my entire life. After just one lesson, he was hooked. And as his skills increased, he wanted to pay it forward. I love to teach it. I love to see people getting up and succeeding and learning how to enjoy the sport and enjoy this beautiful Tampa Bay area that we have here. And so he taught your trio of try as we might morning newsies. And it's, it's called let go. And it's this. <laughs> I think we're good like that. Very important. Yeah, we're good like this. that. With the emergency outs ingrained, it was time to head out into the water for the painstaking task of learning to fly these huge kites. You know, it's, it's a tough sport, and if you've never done any kite flying before, there is a learning curve, just trying to figure out how to control this thing. But if you can figure that out, you can get that, uh, then anything's possible. But with the wind dying and a bigger backup chute deployed, we were struggling. Okay, some of us were struggling more than others. Truthfully, it took almost two hours of getting used to the kite before we each took a stab at the surf. And, well, it wasn't exactly execution as planned as each of us managed to stay up and at it for anywhere between four seconds and uh, maybe a second, which tested Steve's ability to put a positive spin on the efforts as he graded us. Uh, I think you're going to do fine. What we need is a little more wind and a little more time. I think you're going to be good. Yes! Once you decided that you wanted to do it, things improved drastically. <laughs> so I think for you, for you, it's just grabbing the reins and going. You have some great, a great support team here. Turn you on. Uh, you know. So same thing, a little more time. You know, everybody needs some practice flying the kite. Yeah. Just I need more wind. People don't realize. Can I blame the meteorologist? You can blame the meteorologist all you want. But you can't blame us for wanting to try this out or for wanting to go back and give it another shot. After all, Steve did. I didn't get it my first day. You're all way above me already. Really? First day. <laughs> well, okay, first day. My first day. <laughs> You're being kind. Considering how easy he makes this look, very kind indeed. Steve was actually an excellent teacher. Excellent, and kite surfing definitely leaves you wanting more. We have to go back and try it again. Really was fun. Stay up a little longer next Could time. have been more fun. <laughs> have fun on your Sunday. It's uh, going to be up to about 90 with a 30% uh, chance of widely scattered showers later. Have a great rest of your morning, everyone. Sunday fun day starts now.